have no compressor on this unit. So, of course, we're gonna look for the easiest service call for an HVAC technician being a bad cap. Easy peasy. Hopefully that's all it is and we can get these people back up and running. We have an ICP, builder's grade. Actually, I'm wrong, it's a true carrier builder's grade. And it is a little two and a half ton. And we have a Chinese capacitor. It's a true carrier. You can see that CA 13, it's a 13 sear. And then it's a two and a half ton from 2014 or 11. I think, I think, I think 11 is the year. So this looks like a 2011 with a nice Chinese capacitator. Okay, you guys should be able to see the meter. It's on microfarads, common to Herm. We have zero. Let's check the, I mean the fan was running, but we'll check it just for shits and giggles. Fans putting out about Make sure I'm getting a good connection here. Yeah, I am. About 2.4. So I'll swap out this capacitor. He should be good to go. Hopefully I have a small 40. For some reason, because this is a small bracket, the 40s have tend to have gotten fatter lately, depending on what brand you buy. Hopefully I have a small 40. I need to go to Carrier and pick me up some of these brackets like Ted did, pick up some big ones and some small ones because if I had them, I could just switch the bracket. You got to be very careful right here because you don't want to hit the low voltage. Okay. So we have a small, it's a smaller one with a small bracket. So of course all I had was the uh, fat uh, 40 instead of the skinny. Uh, doesn't say, yeah, right here. Made in the USA. So these work really well for the fat ones. This is a two inch EMT clamp. You have to kind of just bend it, like expand it a hair, but they hold the fat capacitors really well. Um, but I'm gonna go get me I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna keep this on the truck. I'm going to buy the small ones and the big ones, because these are the best capacitor brackets right here. I love them. But these, uh, this two inch EMT does a really good job too. So I'll try to show y'all how I do that. I'm gonna test this capacitor first. And from common to Herm, we get 40, and then common to fan, we get five. So we're gonna mount this out of the way. I'm 
me get a screw in the drill. These are some uh, special self-tapping screws that I buy. They are really good. They're, they're awesome. Get that hooked on the drill. Get the meter out the way. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing here. I do not want to hit the low voltage. I may have to go up with the capacitor. Ooh, I almost hit it. Like that. Yeah, we're gonna have to mount it a little higher. Uh, but you know what? It's not, I said the EMT clamp was gonna work, but it may not, it may not work. I can't get close enough to the uh, metal on one of them unless I go get a really long screw which I may do I can probably get it started with one Here's the problem I'm having. I got one in, but this one's too far away. And I'm gonna try to tap it in. So I got a three quarter bit tip screw and then a two inch zip screw. I know for sure the two inch zip screw will get the job done, but I'm hoping maybe this three quarter bit tip will be long enough. Oh, it's gonna be close. have to go with the two inch zip and there's no coil behind here so I'm safe oh I found one. okay that's perfect that is nice and tight and not going anywhere I promise you so this is our Herm these are our commons the yellows. We have one more yellow for common from the fan motor. And then, of course, our start winding for the fan. All right. She should fire. And like I said, she's nice and tight. So you can get away with one short screw, but you're going to need a long screw on the other side. But they do make a good bracket. All right this out the way and get to that disconnect over there. You know what? Let me fix that real quick. Oh, that thing. There we go. Nope. No sense in that at all. So now we got that fixed. That makes me feel better. I tightened up the nut in here. Now we just gotta flip that disconnect. It's one of them square D breaker type disconnects. It's not a circuit breaker per se. It's just a disconnect. Let's take a listen and see if she fires. Yep. I heard the compressor come on. sit for a minute okay so I I lost my quick gauges so I just kind of throw these on here just to check the suction pressure I have no reason to think that this system was low in refrigerant because they he said it was cooling fine before it just stopped 
So that would say the capacitor was the only issue. I like that suction pressure. I'm not gonna go any further into checking the refrigerant charge unless he wants me to. I'll offer it, but he's back where he was up and running. We have a nice sweaty suction line. I know that's not scientific, but I did check the suction pressure. The suction pressure is on point where I expect it. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Unless he wants further service done.